What's up everybody and welcome to a new unboxing. Now we've got a bit of a different technique going on here. We've got the main cam going on, we've got the product cam going on over here. And I'm hoping that this new style of unboxing, well for me anyway, is the beginning of a new platform. So in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Latau electric pencil sharp. Now one of the benefits of having an electric pencil sharpener with some reasonable intelligence is it's not like the olden days of <clears throat> until you've got literally nothing left which is what children would tend to do. So one of the benefits of this particular um, pencil sharpener is that it seems to sense when the pencil is sharpened. Now the build quality is quite good, quite solid, quite heavy and from what I understand it has a rechargeable battery underneath here which you don't have access to. There is a screw there but how you charge it is in here there is a USB lead. There you go. So this cable here comes out here like this and so forth which then allows you to basically charge the units up. Now how long it lasts for I'm a bit dubious on uh, battery orientated pencil sharpeners due to the batteries dying or it's kind of one of those things of well I need it and the battery's dead I would prefer the mains one but for the money um, the recommended retail price on this particular unit uh, is around sort of the 20 pounds I think I picked it up for uh, 9.99 as an Amazon flash you've got 15 minutes to buy it now uh, otherwise you lose out type deal. So as we can see from the top um, we've got different sized pencils. Now you've got um, 12 mil, 10 mil and 6 mil just by simply turning that around and that allows you to select different size pencils you want to be able to sharpen which is quite a good feature and another advantage of this particular unit um, over others is there is a guide piece at the back which lets you specify if you want it absolutely pin sharp or would you like it slightly blunt so if you're like an architect and you need that absolute precision then you can set it at that setting there If you're a five-year-old who's colouring in their latest artwork, then you can set it to a little bit more blunter. And you've got the different sharpness settings there as you go through. So what we're going to do and is going to sharpen a couple of pencils, see what it's like. Now I've already pre... I kind of cheated really. Is it easy an unboxing? Because I've already actually unboxed it and charged it. So it's kind of... It's a kind of a pre-cursed unboxing, but hey. Um, now there's a nice little warning there telling you not to put your uh, fingers in it. And as an adult, you can't even at the biggest size, really. Um, you can't actually put your finger in. You can't even put your little finger in really, but um, there is a little warning sticker there saying don't put your finger in there. The idea being is that you sharpen your pencils and you have the opening there which you then empty out into the bin. Let's get a pencil and let's get one sharpened. So I'm going to take this particular blunt pencil. Let's give it a go. Let's move it out to this one. Pop it in. There you go. 
So as you can see, all of the pencil pieces are in there. And that's actually done really, really well. I'm actually quite chuffed with that. You do need to hold on to it. It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a beast. It's a bit of an animal. Um, so let's grab another pencil. Oh. <laughs> let's grab another pencil. Out. Let's go, go again, shall we? And that, that's it. Look, I'm actually pushing. So I'm, if you're imagining me down being some kind of angry five-year-old, it's actually not sharpening anymore. It knows it's sharp. And actually, if we look at that on the other lens, we can see there, I'm not focusing. Um, we can see here, let me touch that on the thing. There you go. Focus on the pencil, please. Thank you. Uh, as you can see, that is actually really, really sharp. Now you try getting that with a manual pencil sharpener and I'd be quite impressed. Let's grab another one. So I'm going to try for, I'm going to try for a really big one here. This is quite a thick one. So, and as you can see, that is not even going in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to move it, oh shit. We're going to move it around to the bigger setting and oh. that's it, it stops, it auto stops itself. How cool is that? And there we go people, check that out. That is quite impressive. So let's get an even thicker pencil. So let's move it around again. So we're gonna to go to the 12 mil hole and let's, oh. There you go. Let's take that out. And there we have it. So I think on these actual pencil sharpening sections, I'm going to pan to another bit of footage there just to show you the, the, the cut. Um, but that is quite impressive. Now let's see if we can take the, let's test out the back because that's the blunt. So this would be basically a kiddie kiddie setting, yeah? If you were an architect, let's go swing it around at the back. Go over to, oh, I keep doing that and I'm getting bits everywhere. Let's go, all right, so that's, that's the pencil beforehand. Let's go again. Oh, it's finished. Look at that. Absolute pin sharp. So you compare the difference. Can we, can we go back on the footage? Let's compare. Let's do a side by side now so we can actually see what it was like before and what it's like now. Are we, are we looking at that different? Have we got it on screen? Can you see what I'm talking about? So you've got the, the control dial there on the back, which allows you to set between blunt or somewhere in between. You've got one, two, three, four, four different sets. I sound like I'm on like QVC or something. I'm not affiliated. I'm not promoting this product. I'm just review. I'm giving an honest review. I, I, you know, I'm a dad with kids uh, who, who like frozen um, pencil cases. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, my kids do a lot of drawing, coloring in, you know, and they do go through pencils like nobody's business. And it's always mugging the end that's got to like, they're trying to sharpen them. And then the blades are always blunt and it always cuts into the pencil. And I was just like, oh, you know what? You know, this is like 2018 now. You know, we should be 
have some kind of modern method of sharpening a pencil. And that was why I made the investment in the Latau, Leto, whatever you call it, pencil sharpener. Now I'm going to have a look at, so I'm just going to swing to some footage now of the way that the inside of the pencil sharpens. And as, as you can actually see there, the whole unit actually seems to swing around. It's a, it's a helical blade, so they're very, very sharp. I'm not sure if you can change the blade on this particular model, but I do believe it will go on for a good sort of five or six years prior to being changed. Uh, based upon average use. I suppose if you're more of a professional and you're using it every day or, or you know 10 times a day type thing it probably won't last as long but I think for the price uh, I think you can't go wrong so and I think that pretty much brings my review to a close. Now you don't really get much more in the box you get some rather um, pathetic instructions that basically just shows you everything that I've just shown you, you do get, oh what you know, you get a little brush as well for cleaning it. Um, and that is it. Obviously I'm not going to empty it now, but oh, it would be pretty much slide that through and uh, empty that into a bin. So this, I think for me, gets a thumbs up. I like it. Do you know what? I actually really like it. And I think for the money, you can't go wrong. Now you can pick this up from Amazon um, for whatever price it's going for. I think it is quite reasonably priced. It's about 19 pounds. I think at the time you might be able to get it a bit cheaper. Um, but I think for the money, the size, the build quality, the fact that it's USB charging, and you have all of the different options on the type of size of pencil, as well as being, being ultra sharp or blunt, I think it suits all ages. So that, for me, is spot on. So if you like my unboxings or even my tutorials um, please do subscribe to the channel I am a bit of a varied beast really I tend to do tech tutorials or I do unboxings or even when you check out my Lego channel as well I have a Lego channel liquid brick uh, where I animate uh, Lego models and it's all kind of morphed together it's kind of cool um, that's my other sideline that I enjoy doing um, but that's pretty much it for today. So uh, I'll see you in the next video. And until next time, see you later.